if you have been looking for better ways to pay your income tax and you want to get some savings from it, then you have to watch today's video. Because although the GrabPay AXS has been nerfed since the earlier part of this year where last time we could use the AXS to pay our income tax using the GrabPay MasterCard, but now that has already been gone. But all hopes are not lost yet because if you were to join my over 6,000 members Telegram group, I will share some good hacks in there from time to time. And this time round, I just want to talk about paying your income taxes. What is the best ways to pay? And I have three options for you today. The first payment method being gyro installments paid via HSBC Everyday Global Account. By now, some of you will know that IRAs do offer interest-free installments over 12 months when you make such payment arrangements for your income tax. And that is great in this high interest environment because the cash flow can be better optimized for those high interest accounts or even fixed deposits. So if you want to use IRAS monthly installment to pay your income tax, you have to go to IRAS and set up the gyro arrangement or you could download their manual gyro forms for the non-local banks, especially for HSBC because you will have to download this form, print it out, sign and make all the arrangements and use your HSBC Everyday Global account to pay. Now, why HSBC Everyday Global account or EGA is because they have this Everyday Plus Rewards program, which grants you 1% cashback on all gyro bill payments, including your income tax. And how to qualify for this Everyday Plus Rewards program is that you have to make a monthly deposit of at least $2,000 into the HSBC EGA, plus you have to make five transactions out of your HSBC Everyday Global account. So you could do like five times of one dollar transactions out of it they can be fast transfers to other bank accounts and there you go you qualify for the everyday plus rewards program and how it works is that every month iras will request for a gyro deduction from your hsbc everyday global account every month and once the deduction has been completed the next following work day you will see your HSBC Everyday Plus cashback of 1%. So for example, your monthly installment is $100. 1% cashback of that will be $1 credited. And to be super clear, you cannot use eGyro for HSBC EGA to IRAS income tax because it isn't available. So it is still a very manual process that you have to download the form from IRAS in order to register for the gyro installment plan. Anyway, once you have completed the manual gyro form and sign it, you have to mail it back to IRAS. IRAS. My experience is that it takes around one to two weeks for IRAS to send to HSBC to process and authorize the gyro arrangement. And once it has been completed, you will receive a notification via email or SMS and you log into your MyTax portal on IRAS, you will be able to see the 12 months installment plan. So maybe to some of you, this process is really tiring, really manual, but how about something easier from my sponsor? Moomoo Singapore sign up promotion is finally back because now they are back with three deposit tiers. For the first tier, you have to deposit $100 and you can get $2 cashback for a total of 10 days. So that is a total of $20 cashback. For the second tier, you have to deposit $2,000 with two buy trades so you can get one Coca-Cola stock worth around 80 Singapore dollars. And for the final tier, you have to deposit 10,000 Singapore dollars and make seven buy trades and that would give you $100 eight dollars of cash coupon so you see your rewards will differ depending on how much amount you deposited over the period and that is a total of 208 dollars if you fulfill all the conditions and do not withdraw your cash deposits for the stated period for each tier. Now, Mumu SG is also one of the most competitive trading platforms out there offering you US, Hong Kong and Singapore stocks options, dividend stocks, funds like Moomoo Cash Plus, ETFs, and even their latest feature, which is foreign exchange trading, if you are that experienced enough. So sign up with my link down below or scan the QR code right here to get your Moomoo SG account today. The second option is to use third-party payment processors like Cardup or iPayMy. How it works is that these third-party payment processors will charge a processing fee, usually around 2%. And if you use your credit cards to pay through these third-party processors, it will be eligible for your bank's cashback or mouse rewards. In fact, if you look at the current Cardup promotion, it can be as low as 1.75% processing fee 
for Visa card payments through CardUp. And I would say the best entry-level credit cards to be paired up with CardUp will be cashback 3.33% from Maybank Platinum Visa or Miles 1.4 mile per dollar from UOV Privy Miles Visa. Because for Maybank Platinum Visa cashback, if you're getting 3.33% minus the 1.75%, that's a good 1.5% net gain from the cashback profited. For Miles-wise, it's more tricky because UOV Privy Miles Visa only a 1.4 mile per dollar, which means you're paying 1.7 5 cents to get 1.4 miles and that means you're paying for miles at a valuation of 1.25 cents per mile which is the same as my valuation of miles so if you're more comfortable buying miles at this value then maybe you could choose this option but as of the current state i do not think that paying through third-party payment processors are the best options right now because i'll introduce the final option which is city pay all also a third-party payment processor but the mechanics are quite different the current city pay all promotion is that you have to pay a processing fee of 2.2 percent and at the end, you get 2.2 miles per dollar or 5.5 thank you points, which is equivalent to 2.2 miles as well. So you're paying 2.2% to get 2.2 miles, which means you're buying miles at 1 cents per mile, which is below my 1.25 cents per mile valuation. So that's better than cut out already. Well, the terms and conditions is that you have to spend a minimum of $8,000 before the 20th of August in order to qualify for this city pay or upsize promotion. And the rewards will be kept at a maximum of 120,000 spent for those who are considering this method. And it's not only limited to income tax, of course you can pay other stuff like rental payments, renovation, okay, all this kind of thing. I think city pay or is one of the best third party payment processes for that. Now how city pay or works is that you have to go to your city bank mobile app and look under your mouse credit cards like city premium mouse, city rewards, or City Prestige. And when you scroll to the bottom, you can see City Pay All. And that's where you can use City Pay All to pay for all the expenses that I mentioned, like renovation, like income tax, and even property agent fees or domestic helper service fees. To add on, City Pay All promotions can even qualify for minimum spend requirements, like City Prestige. You need to hit a minimum spend to get a free limousine ride, right? Or even City Credit Cards welcome offers for new customers. That's when you can use City Pay All to even meet their minimum spend requirements and get those rewards as well. Now, the better thing for new customers to City Pay All is that if you have not made any City Pay All payment for the last 24 months, you can even qualify for an additional promotion where you will get $50 of Grab Gifts voucher when you spend a minimum of $8,000 within this promotion period till 20th of August. So, I would say that if you are someone who is chasing after miles, definitely you can consider city pay all because you're paying a very low fee to buy miles. It's not so suitable for cashback. So don't think of using your city cashback plus or city cashback for this kind of city pay all thing because it is not working well enough. It's more suitable for people who love to use miles and redeem award flights like business class flights to far away destinations. I think that would be the best use case for city pay all. But I would say that even with city pay all, I'm not using city pay all to pay my income taxes because I have an even better strategy which i shared in my accm course and you may be curious is there anything better than city pay all at this moment yes there is and you can refer to my course details if you want to join us to know of the secret hack